Hello, my name is Jeff Carroll. Did you know the leading cause of preventable death in America is heart disease? Every year, over 600,000 people die from heart disease in America. This, along with obesity and diabetes, are all increasing and very preventable. These are all serious health concerns that affect people we know as well as some of ourselves. Personal health is something we should all take very seriously because we only have one life and we should really make the most of it. I've been lucky enough to live a pretty active lifestyle. I played sports all throughout growing up and in high school I played football and lacrosse. It was football that first got me into lifting weights which has became a hobby of mine ever since. I'm also taking a health and fitness for life class currently right now at Clackus Community College and that has really shown me a lot of dietary and uh, eating habits to improve my health as well. Simply adding or changing a few things in your life can really improve your overall health, your overall quality of life as well. These things I'd like to talk about today are adding cardio, weight training, and a few dietary changes to your life. To begin, the first change I would like to introduce is cardiovascular endurance. Cardiovascular endurance training is anything like running, bicycle riding, walking, uh, treadmills, stair uh, steppers, elliptical machines, just stuff like that requires aerobic exercise. Every year, over 250,000 people die because of lack of exercise, and cardiovascular exercise is the best way to prevent this. It helps lower blood pressure as well as reduce bad cholesterol in your body. It also burns fat, which is the best way to lose weight. It also increases your stamina, which can help in your day-to-day -day activities in life. So, if, you have, if you're not active, a good way to start out is just walking a few times a week. That can really start to boost your stamina and slowly phase in jogging along with that. And if you uh, stay consistent for a while, it will get a lot easier. And um, that's really the best way you can do, the thing you can do to lose weight. So behind me, you can see, this is an elliptical machine. It's found at most gyms. Um, it's not really usable right now, but it's a good way. It's awesome for cardiovascular exercise. And when I work out, I usually run on a treadmill about 10 to 20 minutes, three times a week, and I do that before I work out. The next change i like to talk about is adding weight training into your workout plan. Um, weight training is a great way to help uh, your blood flow in your body as well as your heart. Um, once you establish healthy cardio, adding weight training becomes a lot easier because it kind of motivates you onto the next step. So I'm going to give you a brief overview of just the muscles you used to work out with um, and then a few exercises as well that will help you work out. So for the muscles, the first uh, most important muscle group is your core, which is right here. And this is your abdominals in front and your obliques on your side. And they call it your core because everything you do starts here. Moving down from the core, you have your quadriceps, which are the front of your thighs, your hamstrings, which are the back of your thighs, and your gluteus maximus, which is your butt. You also have your gastrocnemius, which are your calves, down here. Moving above the core, you have your uh, pectoralis major, which is your chest muscles, your deltoids, which are your shoulders, and then your arms, you have the biceps in front, and your triceps behind your arms. And on your back, you have the latissimus dorsi, which is your lower back, and your trapezius, which is your upper back and neck. And when working out, you really want to make sure you hit all the muscle groups, uh, I'm not going to be able to show you how to do all that today in the video, but I'll show you a few exercises that can really improve your muscular endurance. Um, easiest way is with a barbell or any kind of weight bar. Unfortunately, I do not have one here, so I will be using a golf club to simulate that. Um, the first exercise I'd like to talk about is a squat. It's really good for your entire lower body, front and back of your legs, as well as your core for stability. And to do this, you just put the barbell behind your shoulders and just get a nice wide stance and slowly go down until you're parallel and then back up, keeping your back arched and your weight on your heels. And this is a really good lower body workout for all your muscles. Uh, if you're just starting, I would recommend not having a lot of weight on at first and slowly build from that. Another exercise I'd like to show you would be the bench press. And you would do that by lying flat on your back and then if, you, if I was lying flat, just push the bar up, straight out, and slowly back down. And that really works your pectoralis major, the chest, as well as the front of your shoulders. 
And if you're getting into working out, I'd recommend going with someone who knows what they're doing or has been there before. There's a lot to learn, and um, it's really good for you. I usually go about 45 minutes three times a week, get a good workout in, and it not only helps your uh, heart and blood circulation, but also you notice changes in your body. It can improve your self-confidence or just how you feel about yourself. Also, when weightlifting, you want to make sure that uh, you go full range of motion, go all the way up and down, and also uh, don't put on too much weight. It's more about the form than the weight you use. And if you can establish a good, healthy cardio and uh, weightlifting routines, the next step I'd recommend is adding a few dietary changes. This can be really simple. It's not like a fad diet or a, uh, even a diet, really. Just a few changes to uh, improve your health. And the first one I'd recommend is just monitor your sodium and fat intake. Uh, most processed or fast foods and frozen foods have a lot of sodium and a lot of fat. You don't have to cut these out completely, but just cut back a little bit. It's really not good for you. Add in some more uh, healthier fresh fruits and vegetables. And that takes me to the next thing. Five fruits and vegetables a day. We've been hearing that forever, and it's really true. It really helps out your body. Also, uh, portion control and meal regulation helps a lot. If you can get on a standard meal plan, eating at the right times every day, it gets your body used to digesting the food, as well as not overeating or undereating, especially for breakfast. By adding these three areas I talked about, both cardio, muscle, weightlifting, and uh, dietary changes, you can really improve your overall health. You might notice a toning of the body, some weight loss, and you just feel better about yourself. And I think most people agree they like to feel better about themselves. So if you want to do this, I'd strongly recommend it. And just remember, life is too important not to care about your body. Thank you.